The modeling used by the National Emergency and Response Committee on COVID-19 to estimate the trajectory of COVID-19 cases in the country paints a rather grim picture if Kenyans will not adhere to the standard prevention guidelines. Our modeling puts us at uh, having about 1,000 cases by the first week of April, and we postulate that we'll have 5,000 cases by mid-April and potentially 10,000 cases by 30th of April. Kenya on Monday announced eight more positive cases of COVID-19, bringing the number to 50. Out of this number, we have received confirmation of six patients who have tested positive for the coronavirus disease. And an additional one patient from the Aga Khan Hospital. This now brings the total number of confirmed cases in the last 24 hours to eight. The total number of confirmed cases now stands at 50 in the country. According to Health Cabinet Secretary Mutahi Kagwe, the eight cases are spread out in various counties in the country. Kitui now has one case. Nairobi County has six new cases, while Mombasa, one. This now puts Nairobi County at 34 cases of those who have so far tested positive, followed by Kilifi at six, Mombasa at three, Kajiado and Kwale, one each, with now the, Kisi, the Kitui one. Out of the 43, 44 cases, 26 are male, while 18 are female. Kenya has officially joined 12 African countries experiencing community transmission of COVID-19. The eight cases announced today by Health Cabinet Secretary Mutai Kagwe were locally transmitted. According to the World Health Organization, any country experiencing this kind of transmission should only result to social distance as the only way to prevent further spread of the virus. Tracing of contacts of the 50 cases is ongoing, with 1,474 people already being monitored. The worsening situation has prompted the government to tighten prevention measures. Buddha Buddha riders will be required to carry only one passenger at a time to maintain a semblance of social distance. And together with their passengers wear masks from their workstations and discourage rural urban travel to shield the high risk aging population. We are encouraging those who stay in Nairobi against traveling up country during this period. Statistics have shown that majority of our elderly people live up country and that they are likely to get exposed as it happened in Italy by this kind of movement. Following the imposition of curfew in the country, the CS directed employers to release their employees by 4 p.m. from their workstation. With the spread traversing counties, the Ministry of Health and Interior met with the Council of Governors to firm up prevention and control measures in counties, measures which, according to Deputy President William Bruto, through his Twitter account, would include identifying at least 20 boarding schools in each county, which will serve as makeshift hospitals for COVID-19 cases. Purity Museo, Channel 1 News, Nairobi.